Lynch syndrome is a hereditary disorder. That means it's something that you've inherited from one of your parents. And if you have Lynch syndrome, then you carry a genetic defect, a mutation in one of several different genes. And if that's the case, you are programmed genetically to get certain cancers. Chief among them is colorectal cancer. Now Lynch syndrome also involves several other types of cancer, uterine cancer or endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer and stomach cancer, possibly even breast cancer, a certain type of cancer of the kidney, bladder cancer. That's a broad array of cancers that people might be at risk for. We need to know who they are so that we can help prevent those cancers. Many people, including many doctors, think that Lynch syndrome is really quite rare. It's just as common in the general population as the much more known BRCA genes associated with hereditary breast cancer. One in 400 Americans is walking around with a Lynch syndrome mutation, whether they know it or not. My brother had called me in October of 2011 and had had just um, had a colonoscopy and he called me and said, Gina, you know, with our family history, you really need to go get one. I went and had my first colonoscopy and they were not able to complete it due to the large polyps that I had in my colon. I was referred to a colorectal um, surgeon. Hadn't been home from the hospital two to three hours and my phone rang and it was my doctor telling me that it was cancer. Gene testing for Lynch syndrome is not for the general population. It's not even for every person who has colon cancer or endometrial cancer. What we look for are clues that would make us believe that this could be a Lynch patient. Number one, family pattern there frequently is going to be some pattern of cancers in the family. My family history was also another issue. Um, my mother had passed away at 45 with um, colon cancer. Age at diagnosis. Third clue has to do with multiplicity. And by that I mean, if you're programmed to get cancer once, you're programmed to get it again. Fourth clue is the characteristics of the cancer itself. This is true in Lynch colorectal cancer more so than anywhere. When we've diagnosed Lynch syndrome in a given family, and now we know what the genetic mutation is, and we're systematically tracking that mutation through the family. I went in and met with Dr. Geyer. Um, he explained it to me. It was just a blood draw. It was painless, it took 30 minutes. Um, I was out. Um, a few weeks later, I went back and saw him again and was informed that um, I did indeed have Lynch syndrome. For me, it was just about awareness and um, knowing what I needed to do moving forward. Many patients with Lynch syndrome want to know, you know, now what can I do? You know, where do I go from here? Some of them even wondered whether they wanted to be tested in the first place. Do I really want to know this? My answer to that is, yes, you want to know this. Humans are programmed to survive. If you have Lynch syndrome, you are facing a number of obstacles to that survival that are mostly avoidable. My mom's cancer and, and her condition has, has made me want to stay on top of, of what I have. Um, I see how it affects her, um, and she's worried about her kids, wanting to be here for her kids, see the grandkids. Um, so that really made the going getting tested um, a no-brainer. I find most people end up thinking that it is empowering. So I believe that knowledge is power. They already know they've got a family history of certain kinds of cancer. But now we're armed, we're able to quantify that and we're able to manage that risk and that's a very empowering thing.